such a great idea for a weekend activity. Well, I thought it'd be good to get out of the house. I don't like the kids being around that racist sunflower that's grown in our yard. Hey, boy, don't you come walking by this house. You're ignorant. Hey, Mr. Eel, you're slippery. Oops, got away. Mmm, left my hand smelling funny. Come here, Jesse, smell my finger. Hmm. Hmm. Today was a good day. Hey, look, kids, it's a recreation of the lost city of New Orleans. Dad, was there ever a real city of New Orleans? No one knows, Chris. No one knows. Hey, Brian, look, I'm a stripper. I'm working my way through college. I should be more reluctant to take my clothes off, but I'm not because my stepfather had boundary issues. Hey there, Mr. Octopus. I see you got two eyes, but not much else. We can fix that. Let's give you a nice twiddly little mustache here, and maybe a big old dumb guy smiley mouth, and a couple of eyebrows with one raised up like you're saying, say what? Oh, look who's got pimples! And right before the big dance! <laughs> what the hell? It's so sucky and squeezy! I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus! Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. In other news, former President Bill Clinton was in town today to judge Quahog's annual Miss Cankle USA contest. Now that's a cankle. Where does the calf fat end and the ankle fat begin? Who knows? That's the fun. Brian, what is this on my shoe? My poop. That's right, and it's disgusting. I am sick of you using the front yard as your bathroom. It's time you learn to use the toilet like everyone else. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. Achoo. Ah! Bye, Lois, I'm going to the gym. Okay, see you later. Wait, what? Since when do you go to the gym? Well, it's just that whole thing at the aquarium made me realize I'm completely out of shape. I mean, what if I run into that octopus again? Peter, that's ridiculous. Ready for round two, man? I got all day. Hey, is that your wife? Hey, I didn't know you guys work out here. Yeah, it's a weekly regimen. Come on, come on, Cleveland, push it. Come on, come on, push it, push it, push it. Come on, it's all you, it's all you, it's all... Hey. Glan, 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 glan. <laughs> Will you guys quiet down? I'm trying to concentrate on my cardio. Hey, uh, you guys the trainers here? Why, look, Barnaby, a new recreation enthusiast. We'll start off your workout with vigorous calisthenics, executed in rhythmic time with acetate pressings of the new musical craze called jazz. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. That's what you should have for breakfast. Delicious. Steak and eggs and eggs and steak. Just making sure you heard. I got it. How do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. All right. We're two intelligent guys. We can figure this out. What's that big back part? Maybe that's where the wizard lives who operates this thing. It would be wise not to anger him. I wonder what this thing is for. Brian, be careful with that. We don't know what it does. <sighs> All right, here goes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. Don't mind me, you guys. I'm just writing a letter to my boyfriend. Dear my boyfriend, thank you for making out with me recently on purpose. That was cool. Those flowers that you totally sent me were really pretty. Just like you said, I am. Love, Meg. Meg, you are so full of crap. You're like those people who sit in Starbucks and publicly write on their laptops. Hello, flabby, out-of-shape family. Check out my bulging rippliness. Peter, you've been to the gym once for 15 minutes. And I'm 15 minutes stronger, Brian. I'd rip a phone book in half, but for the life of me, I don't know anyone who uses a phone book anymore. So I'll use Meg's laptop. 
Tank top. He looks more pathetic than John Merrick when he went on Match.com. There's no way you're a size six. Ah, I haven't felt this good in years. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger without the fruity accent and the Pirates of the Caribbean wife. Excuse me, sir. Secret Service. I wonder if we might ask for your assistance. Yeah, what's the problem? We're with President Clinton's motorcade. It seems he blew a tire in front of your house. Boy, that guy is really horny, isn't he? Would you happen to have a jack we could borrow? You don't need a jack. I am a jack. Come on, I'll lift that thing for you. Hey, I appreciate your help, ma'am. We're a little overloaded because I'm having a fat chick party back here. <laughs> All right, girls, I've turned off the A.C. First one to have a bead of neck sweat reach their butt crack wins. All right, boys, now watch how this is done. The key is to put it all in your groin and your back. Take your legs totally out of the equation. Lift with your lower back in a jerking, twisting motion. Peter! Oh, my God! Call an ambulance! All right, so which one of y'all ain't got my herpes yet? How's the honey, Peter? You know what the worst part of it is, Lois? I, I thought I was just out of shape, but that ain't it at all. I gotta face the fact that I'm just getting old. Knock, knock. Mr. President, what are you doing here? Well, I felt so bad that Peter hurt himself fixing my car. I wanted to stop by and extend my good wishes. Wow, Bill Clinton! Hey, uh, can I get a picture of you on my cell phone? Sure. You know where I got that nipple ring? Old straddling Madeline Albright gave it to me. Say, you look like you're pretty down, Peter. Uh, it's just that I'm starting to realize I'm not as young as I used to be. I hear you. After my bypass, I remember wondering if it was all downhill from there. But then I realized it doesn't have to be. You're only as young as you feel. I don't know, Reagan. I wish I could believe that. I'm going to make you believe it. When you get out of here, I'm going to take you out and show you the time of your life. And by the time we're done, I promise you're going to feel like a young man again. Well, if you really think it'll help. I sure do. Know what else will help? A little saxophone therapy. What's that? Well, since I couldn't help you learn to use the toilet, I found something that can. It's an instructional video on toilet training. Hi, I'm Roy Scheider, and today we're going to learn to use the potty. Folks, say hi to my pal, Hungry Hank. How's it going, Hank? I'm hungry for your poo. Don't make me starve. <laughs> Remember, it's not really about pushing as much as just relaxing and letting your body do what it does naturally. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> now, here's Susan St. James to help me wipe. All right, Peter, we got a big day ahead of us. I'm going to show you that age is just a state of mind. Come on, hop in my limo. Wow, a limo! Shotgun! Watch the screen, not your feet. Bill, shut up. I got it. Number 32. Oh, no, a pizza's ready. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. I haven't made a crank call in years. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, quiet, quiet. It's ringing. Hello? Hello? Is this Linda Tripp? Yes. You shouldn't have talked, you stupid bitch. I hope you die. Boy, that, uh, that, that wasn't really a crank call. That was, that was just unpleasant. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. You know what, Bill? You were right. Ever since you and I have been hanging out, I feel 20 years younger. You've completely changed my life. See, I told you, Peter, age is just a state of mind. So what do you want to do next? Go to Mars, dude. Boy, I'm getting kind of hungry. Me too. Hey, hey, pull over, man, pull over. Dude, check it out. There's a pig behind that fence. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it. Dude, we could eat that pig. What? Dude, come on. We could totally eat that pig. We could, we could do it, man. We could. It'd be so easy, man. It would take like a minute. Could it really be that fast? Peter, that pig could be in our stomachs in like one minute, and then we could, we, and then, and then we could do other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm starved. Let's do it. Who's there? Oh, crap. Go, 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 go! Doggone it. If he wanted a pig, why didn't he just take my wife? <laughs>